Rice commercial. That's why they're doing another one because maybe that that other actor can't is not available, you know, to do it. So they're going to bring you in now to try to get the replacement of that. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. But they still want that same vibe because it has to be within the same, the same kind of commercial esque. Yeah, it's going to say qua that they're trying. Uh, hey, their, look it for, down. You're going to say qua. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just learned today. Okay, all right. I just walked in, so. Yes, you know I mean? we're going to wrap so, it up. Yes. I have a question. So, when I was in Miss Denisha's boot camp, yeah. I asked her what would be an easier way to memorize your script and your lines. Mm-hmm. And she recommended, like, um, memorizing one line at a time, which I found to be very beneficial Absolutely. versus trying to learn the whole thing at one time. Correct. So outside of that technique, do you have any other recommended techniques that can help with memorization? I do, but it's all individually based, and that's what I specialize in because I've also worked with the school system as well. And as you know, as students, you, uh, each student learns differently. And so it's my job to discern how you learn. If that technique works for you, do that. Because I'm dyslexic. Me and, me and, me and uh, 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 Tom Cruise, dyslexic. Yeah. So we have to learn the entire story of what it is and play the story out in our scripts. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And that's how we memorize our lines. It's about building that story and picturing like in, in our heads a video of exactly what's going on and then I'll never forget my lines. I just need to know the scenario because I'm old. So uh, I, know, I, know, I know things. I know how this scenario is going to work. Yeah, so I know what I'm going to say. I know what the line is because it's written by a human. I already know what I'm going to say. Does that make sense? Okay. Does that make sense? So whatever, uh, whatever works for you, do that. Okay. Otherwise, picture, if you learn uh, more, there's more auditory, there's more um, visual learning, and then there's more uh, structured reading learning. Mm-hmm. Some people just absorb differently. It really depends on what works for you. If you want to uh, do the video part in your head, do that. You know, build a picture. Yes. Okay. So I was kind of embarrassed to say I was dyslexic. Yeah. <laughs> I was dyslexic. Oh, please and don't. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I when I would do plays, I would record voice record myself always, and then listen to it when I'm laying down yeah. because that helps me. Because I, you so I you're an auditory time. learner. Yeah, mm-hmm. I have mm-hmm. a hard time with the script reading it because of my. Absolutely. And hey. don't ever be embarrassed don't about be your embarrassed disabilities because it helps you yeah. if somebody knows. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad I know that. Yes, I would say for me, muscle memory. So like going through the acts of actually what you're trying to do um, always helps because then your muscles kind of and then you're like okay and then your line will kick in. That's why I have you go into your separate little corners and do it out loud and do it the way that you're gonna want to represent. That is part of the muscle memory group, absolutely. So don't ever like sit and try to memorize something. Actually get up and get your body activated mm-hmm. and also building that muscle memory like. Um, Want to build monuments and lashes? Get an architect. It's all about, okay, I like what I'm doing there. I feel comfortable. I can rock that. Things like that. That's going to really help you. You know what I mean? Just like when I told him to stop doing this, as soon as he did this, I actually related more. Because this is a defense mm-hmm. mechanism. Mm-hmm. This is a defense mechanism. Mm-hmm. You don't want to let anybody in here in the circle. You have to be more open. Mm-hmm. Let it go. Does that make sense? And be let it go and let it flow. Let it go, baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, just think about those. There's many different ways to learn. However you, however it's comfortable for you, you do you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Well, that is a wrap. It is about 1 o'clock. I think I showed up about, I don't know, less than 10 minutes before. So, but um, this was awesome, you guys, right? Yes. yes. So, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. I do have you on live um, afterwards just to kind of get an idea of what... You learned. Oh, don't be shy now. Y'all know all about acting. Come on now. You're going to be on many, many cameras. So but I'm going to let Ricky wrap up. And um, yeah, thank you again. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. You guys did great. Um, my homework for you for the week is basically watch everything. <laughs> watch everything. If you don't have a subscription to, to, to Netflix or Hulu, please get one. Also, watch uh, YouTube commercials mm-hmm. and things like that on YouTube. Watch everything. 
don't leave anything unturned, especially recent stuff. Because remember, the recent stuff that's out now is your competition there you go. and where you should be and what level you should be at in order to be pliable to start auditioning. If that makes any sense, makes okay. a lot of sense. Yeah, mm-hmm. great advice. Right. Thank, Thank you, Ricky. Guys. Thank you guys for being here. <laughs> Thank you.